So good morning guys and what a morning we've had here. I've just quickly set the, um, the camera up for this shot with this uh, sort of lone tree and the sky has just erupted behind it. It's quite fantastic really. I wasn't going to come out this morning and I just checked the weather last minute last night and it said that the weather was going to be really uh, sort of patchy clouds so I thought maybe with the, the, uh, the sky will catch and things so yeah I give it a shot and it's paid off so we're getting those lovely soft blues uh, blues and pinks at the minute and it's really making quite a nice image uh, in terms of settings and things I'm shooting at 1.6 uh, of a second at f8 ISO 200 and I'm probably going to crop this to a 16 by 9 just because I've got a lot, of, a lot of dead space with the grass here in the foreground and there's not a lot of foreground interest to be honest at the minute. So what I'm going to do now is just try and switch my composition up a little bit and maybe try and look for something that is interesting in the foreground and try and get a different shot from this morning but at the moment I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. I've got this lovely, lovely dominant tree nice pink and blue skies behind it. What more can you ask for? So the shot that I've just uh, captured here is, is obviously different, uh, different composition to the last and I've just found this one leaf that's sort of got this really nice crust of frost on it and it just caught my eye against all the other leaves whereas they were all sort of a bit crinkled and ripped and things and this one was sort of very perfect and just had this lovely sort of edging of frost on it and the sky is almost gone really now it's in terms of white and i just thought i'd grab this one quickly i've, I've already taken the shot i'm focus, focus stacking the image at f8 and i'm also bracketing the exposure as well just because i wanted to capture all the the details in the in the image the shadows and the highlights but uh, with obviously the tree being so prominent on the horizon the, the graduated filters would, would mess up with the, with the tree exposure. So I've bracketed the image and I'll blend them together in Lightroom and Photoshop. But what a morning this has been. I mean, I've only got two images at the minute that I think I'm happy with. Yeah, as a last minute trip, it's been pretty, uh, been, been pretty successful. I'm gonna take a look in a little woodland just over, over there that I've not been in before, uh, just, just behind me. And I'm just going to see if there's any potential compositions, maybe that I could come back to when it's better conditions, or maybe something I could get now. But no, it's quite subdued light. There's a little bit of mist because of the, um, the frost this morning. Um, so we'll go see see what there is and see what there is to be uh, to be had in any any woodland compositions. Like I say, um, I'm not holding my breath for anything uh, at the minute, but there's nothing nothing wrong with a bit of an explore. So, apologies if uh, that last image was a little bit rushed. It's just I wanted to make sure that I could get the the last bit of the light, and I didn't want to uh, 
I don't want to miss the opportunity there. But yeah, like I say, it's been a, a very nice morning so far. I've got had some lovely conditions considering that I wasn't gonna said I wasn't gonna come out. Like I say, uh, just back there, I'm gonna head down here now, head down to this little patch of woodland and see if I can grab any more images um, this morning. And hopefully, guys, the audio is a lot better because I've purchased a microphone that sits on top of my camera, so let me know if you can notice a little difference in that. Hopefully it's a lot better because um, I was just using the Fuji external, internal, sorry, uh, microphone before that. But it's a lovely morning. It's a little frozen frozen lake thing, little pond, I'm not sure what that is. Somebody's boxes, some Calvin Klein boxes. A bit weird. <laughs> So literally, as I put the camera down just then, uh, as I said, I'm going to look for another image. I've stumbled across this absolutely stunning tree that's just on the edge of this little stream. And it's got this lovely coating of um, moss on it. And it's sort of almost like a luminant in this light. I don't know, I don't know quite how it's looking like this, really, to be honest. but. Uh, it looks almost mythical and magical and I really like how this composition is, is come up, it's turned out. It's sort of very low to the ground with the camera looking right at the, the mossy barks as it goes up into the, into the scattered messy branches. And I think that's going to turn out quite nice when I get that back to the computer and have a, a look at it uh, properly. But in terms of settings um, on one third of a second f8 iso 200 and i'm actually focused stack it again <laughs> um just because i'm so close to this this nearest trunk this nearest root sorry um with the moss and the the curve of the tree just sort of offs the depth of field ever so slightly um we're slightly out of focus just at the bottom so i've just focus stacked it just to make sure that we get everything in focus and I've also bracketed the image as well just because we've got those messy messy branches which uh, contrast so harshly with the sky so we can get a nice balance between them two. Mm -hmm. 